Welcome to Peden Stadium, Athens, Ohio, home to the Bobcats of Ohio U. We're looking forward to a full house and a terrific game in this one. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Miami, Ohio Redhawks. Squaring off with another team from the map, the Ohio Bobcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Bobcats will kick it away to start. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Miami Redhawks offense takes the field. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys. And it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. Opening drive of the game, and they're facing third and one. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing. you got an opportunity right now. You've got the football early in this game to show you. This is going to be more of the same, Palmer. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today, Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. The give to the back. Got the first down and still on his feet. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Red Hawks are flying down the field. Hand off from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Looking downfield, it's Gabbard. And they couldn't hold him off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. The screen, by definition, is slow developing. That was just a little too slow. Yeah, quarterback just held on to it a split second too long. You want to invite the rush to you as a quarterback when you're executing that play, but... You've got to be able to get rid of it, and you've got to be able to negotiate the rush and somehow, some way, find a way to get that receiver or running back the ball in his hands, and the QB couldn't get it done. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Just broke the tackle and still on his feet. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks. And you cut off the rally and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. So Ohio's offense has the ball for the first time. Looking for a productive play on first down. Looking for a gap. It's Hunt. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. The gift to the back. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. From the gun, wants to pass. With the catch, it's Hendricks. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. Simple call, excellent execution, moves the sticks on third down. These QBs and receivers, man, they run this route in practice thousands of times. So it's nice to see them come out here and execute it in game conditions. Great job with the timing. Great job with the depth and the route. Nice work between those two. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Keep it on the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Third down after the run. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name. Grabs it at the 25 in stride. And he'll run into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. 
And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7 0. So that was a six play, 75 yard drive. And the finisher coming on a touchdown pass from 52 yards out. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Miami, Ohio has it back. The Red Hawks offense heads to the field. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Dropping back, it's Gabbard. Quick completion on the out. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. He's got it down the middle. And they pick up just a few on that completion. This offense has a second down play. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell that. He's got it inside the 30. Touchdown, Miami. And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. Number nine. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. And he knocks the extra point through the uprights. Quick work on that scoring drive just four plays. And they cap things off with a touchdown pass from 59 yards out. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance in the run and pass. No, when you throw that good, you spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Tackled, but he has a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. This offense set up with a second and short. Fast motion from the offense. Give to the running back. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They're going to ride this running back. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. It's been punched, counterpunched throughout the early part of this game as we take a look at the first quarter stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. Hands it off. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And his offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's set this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, this offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the back. He right now is running with authority on this drive. 
The pass is incomplete, but there's a flag in the backfield, and that shot the quarterback took might have been a little too much. So the offense gets an automatic first down after the roughing the passer penalty. The defense in a most... move giving the offense a new set of downs and that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three play number nine on this drive they'll go to the ground and the bobcats have enough for the first down here's this offense with a fresh set of downs now from inside the red zone Got the quick pass. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for room. It's Hunt. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Now facing a third and long. 
from the gun, wants to pass. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down, fourth down coming up. And they decide to trot out the kicker. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't First make it accurate down. enough. Throw the ball kicker. falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. This could turn out to be a huge penalty. Thought they were going to have to settle for three, and now the offense back on the field with a chance for more. The run from the shotgun. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. The defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. He'll do it himself. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. And after getting it right on the edge, they'll try to punch it in on third down. They're going to run it. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Bobcats! I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. So they played keep away and held it for 16 plays on the scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, we'll see what this Red Hawks offense can get done this time. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. They go to the ground. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Wants to throw. It's Gabbard. Fires to the big fella. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. Looking to go up top on first down. He's got it. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Looking to throw it again. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Works the middle of the field. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. He caught it. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Heftiness coming out on the goal line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Makes the catch. And he will score! Touchdown, Red Hawks! I tell you, when this drive started, the defense thought they had them in a hole. Not anymore. What a performance. And I really like the play calling by the offensive coordinator on that last drive. That was a nice mixture of running and throwing and getting different players 
involved. Really nice job, very poised in that play calling, and it showed up with the touchdown. Getting set for the point after. Smashes it through for the PAT. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The offense set for a first down play. Gonna run it. It's Hunt. Getting behind those pads and behind the stiff arm to get it out to the 27. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. It's been a fun start to this one. And this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead. And unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency. And that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Quarterback on the keeper. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And on second down for this offense. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Spectacular layout and catch. The Bobcats are moving quickly down the field. Man, I, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. But jet sweep pass. <clears throat> And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. Looking for a man. It's Navarro. Oh, he dropped the football. He had it right in the middle of the field and just ran before he finished the catch. It'll be fourth down. You sort of get the feeling here in the second half with the game tied. It very easily could come down to which of these two quarterbacks has the football last. Bit of a blown opportunity there on third down with that incompletion. This guy's going to have to lock in for the remainder of the game. The gift to the tailback. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's McDonald. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. 
And the Red Hawks will line it up on first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. Yeah. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Now they'll run the draw. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? This has been a tight one. Third quarter all tied up. It's now second and ten. Got his man quickly. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force a negative play. How about this confidence in the running game? And he picks up nine just short of the marker. It'll be fourth and one. He'll pull it on the read. Makes a man miss. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Off the RPO, complete. Got some room in it to the goal line. Touchdown, Miami! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. Miami, Ohio, 21, Ohio, 14. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. He wants to start this drive with a pass. They're setting up the screen. And he goes out of bounds, but finally, this passing game gets something going here as they try to rally. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it. And I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. Work in the middle of the field. He knew he needed the rocket. Threw it in there. Great job. Great catch. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. The play action fake. They're bringing heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Fights his way for a couple, but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Line gets set, first down. 
And that's such a good job by this defense. This offense is trying to find the spark, trying to get back in this football game. They're trying to be aggressive. The defense answers, and now you put your offense in a beautiful position to go out, execute a really good drive, and put a little distance between the other squad. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. The run to the left. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got a man. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Red Hawks are on the move. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practice this throughout the week, having a lead late in the game, running plays to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they're executing this four-minute offense to perfection. The handoff keep working on that clock, and they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Didn't find a single crack to run through on the last two plays. Let's see if they go up top on third and ten. Looking to pass. It's Gabbard. Throws to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. And what a big conversion by the offense there. With the lead late, you're just trying to stay on the field and bleed the clock. At this point, it's tick, 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 tick. Let's run this clock down as low as we... Got some room, head to the goal line. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock, and, and he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Red Hawks! And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Here's the return from inside is 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. Wants to throw on first down, using the quick game. Gets away from one, finds room. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They couldn't draw up a better way to start a drive, and now they've got it first and 10 from the 41. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped him. Let's see what they've got on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Got it in the middle. It's Williams. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. It's complete to the right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Pocket starts to collapse. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. Wide open downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has 
has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of them here in this two-minute situation late in the game, but the drive off to a good start. You get the first down, you get out of bounds, you're working the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. And the Bobcats trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Back to throw, it's Navarro. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. He wants to pass it on second down. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. A field goal does not top the list of most helpful things at this juncture, so they'll go for it on fourth down. Going for six. To the end zone, and it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. The Miami, Ohio offense returns to the field. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defensive job to stop. 